another incredible story is the way Young Life is having such an impact on the Lima community and beyond. National organization has had a local presence for several years, directly, directly impacting the lives of young adults in this region with the goal of pointing them to the saving message of Christ. I'm joined now by Area Director Billy Dre and Pastor John Foster to talk a little bit about Young Life. And Billy, Young Life's been in the area about six years now, and we're starting to see some really good growth. Yeah, it's really exciting to see where we've come since 2008. Um, we started with a concentration just on Lima City Schools and Lima Senior High specifically. And over the years, we've grown. Um, we work with teen moms through our Young Lives Ministry. Um, there's a new club that's getting started in Spencer, at Spencerville High School in the last year. And there's also a little bit starting in Shawnee through a church partnership with Shawnee United Methodist. So we're really excited to see the way that the Lord is opening doors. And um, we're just getting a chance to meet kids that are not interested in God and hoping to point them to Christ in a non-threatening way. So, yeah. Pastor Foster, you're at Trinity UMC, a committee member with Young Life. Why is Young Life so important to you? I... Uh have experienced Young Life uh, early on in my uh, career as a junior in high school back in 1958 when I attended a Young Life camp and from that point on it was uh, uh, I just uh, fell in love with it. It's a great uh, way in which the approach of the uh, the gospel is given to uh, teenagers especially teenagers who are too good to even accept that message. It's, it's just a way in which uh, the, the, the kids are introduced uh, a magnificent way. You know, Billy, we've got the Young Life Camp that goes on. What are some of the other programs you have in place for to, to help youth of the area come sure. to meet Christ? There's, there's a couple of ways that we work with kids. One that we emphasize to our volunteer leaders is contact work. That's really that mentor style relationship building. That's where those real conversations about life happen. Club is coined our party with a purpose. And so that's that once a week meeting that we have where there's games and there's dinner. And the last 10 or 15 minutes is a message about Jesus that helps these kids understand what he really means in their life. Campaigners is that sit down Bible study, deeper application of the word. And for a lot of our kids that don't even own Bibles, that's that first time that they get to see the living word really come to life for them. And then, of course, camp is it is a resort for teens. It really is. It's designed to be a place where they can really let their walls down. They can have fun. And it's really cool to see how they get off the bus, you know, with their image and trying to impress the other kids that are there from other areas. And by the end of the week, they have had a transformational experience with Christ. It's just an amazing thing. I also actually accepted Christ at a camp in 1996. I won't tell you how old I was then, <laughs> but it's You're really about four or five, right? Four or five. Yeah. And it's really neat to actually have someone like John on our committee who also had a similar experience however many years before that. So it's really neat to see how the mission of Young Life and the methods of Young Life have evolved to meet the kids where they're at. But at the core, it's that same, uh, that same focus of really helping point them to Christ. And, and like he said, there's a lot of kids that are just too cool for Jesus, just too cool for, you know, talking about those kind of things. And it's really fun to see them really get it and to really accept Christ for themselves and see that life transformation you can definitely see the spirit moving mm -hmm. and, and how their hearts are warmed, uh, primarily in, in, a, in a way in which they don't even realize it. And it's it just all of a sudden, they, it's like an, uh, a light bulb, an idea. It just, there it is. And uh, they, they receive that message of love and acceptance and forgiveness and mm -hmm. grace and mercy, all that bottled up. And it's a marvelous thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I, I would think it'd be just like you said, a marvelous thing when you see some kids who probably wouldn't hear the word otherwise except through Young Life. Right. Yeah, and, and again, we hope that we can get these unchurched kids, kids that maybe they've heard about God or grandma has dragged them to church once or twice, but they're like, yeah, that's not for me. We want them to get to a place where they're like, you know what, I do want to go to church. Will you take me? And we have volunteer leaders that are going to church in the Lima community, even though they go to school outside of the community, so that they can help those kids get there and they can bridge that gap. Um, a lot of our kids are a little intimidated to go to church on their own. And so we want to make sure that that relationship carries all the way from introducing them to Christ to really helping them see how to walk it out for themselves. Another way you guys are reaching out, coming up in May, May 17th, as a matter of fact, uh, a 5K run. 
That's right. We have uh, our first 5K run. We should include walk <laughs> for those who would like to walk with me. They can run with John. Um, it's going to be on Saturday, May 17th at 9 a.m. It will start at the Lima YMCA, and it will go along the river walk throughout the Lima community. A $25 registration fee, and um, there's medals and awards and T-shirts and things like that that everyone will get. So. Yeah, it sounds like a fun time. You can register online at AllianceRunning.com, correct? Correct. Or we will have uh, uh, available registration forms also. So um, they are available. We have first, second, and third place for a male, female, and then we have first, second, and third place for all the different age groups that we will have. All right. right. Well, thank you very much, Billy and John. Don't forget, coming up at May 17th, the Young Life 5K Run Walk right at the YMCA in Lima.